Ford announced on Friday that they're cutting one of the three production shifts at their Michigan plant, which is responsible for production of the F-150 Lightning EV pickup truck. This change took effect on Monday and will impact around 700 jobs. Now, Ford assures that the decision is unrelated to the United Auto Workers strike that has been ongoing. Ford cites multiple constraints for this decision, including supply chain issues. They've been facing challenges in delivering vehicles that were held for quality checks after they restarted production in August. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, they reported from an internal memo from a UAW official that suggested that Ford might be thinking of cutting a shift due to low demand for the F-150 Lightning. Ford declined to comment on the situation. Now, last week, Ford revealed that U.S. sales for the F-150 Lightning fell 46% in the previous quarter ending September 30th, yet sales are still up 40% over 2022 through the first nine months of the year. Now, it's worth noting that Ford F-150 Lightning accounts for about 2% of all F-Series sales. It's a modest number, but given that Ford F-150 has been one of North America's best-selling vehicles for several years, it is an indication of the potential for Ford F-150 Lightning. The company said overall demand for its electric vehicles lineup, which includes Mustang Mach-E, remains strong with a 65% increase in the third quarter of this year. Hello everyone, my name is Mark Weich and thanks for checking out this video on cleanearth.io. Before we continue, kindly ask that you hit that like and subscribe button. By doing that, it really helps us improve what we do here as well as grow our platform. And also, we really appreciate it. Ford had to pause production of the Lightning earlier in the year due to battery issues. And this was in February. Now, production resumed in August. The production halt has impacted sales with only around 8,700 units delivered between March and September this year, compared to about 8,900 units in the same span of 2022. Approximately 16,600 Ford workers represented by the United Auto Workers are currently on strike. Ford insists that the strike has no relation to the shift cut at the Lightning plant. Now, there's also sort of a economic component to this. It's also important to consider that the average interest rate for financing new vehicle purchase purchases has gone up significantly due to rate increases by the U.S. Federal Reserve. And it's making, making it more expensive for buyers to purchase things like cars and homes. So 2023 sales numbers for Ford F-150 Lightning may be disappointing, and investors are still trying to piece together the full picture. Ford's electric vehicle unit lost a billion dollars last quarter. This loss extends to each Ford F-150 Lightning sold, which has been really amplified by a production or a price reduction to compete with Tesla. CEO Jim Farley has announced that the next generation of Ford EVs will be profitable, saying that future EVs will be on a radically simplified architecture using a different battery chemistry and more efficient manufacturing processes. The company had initially planned to produce 600,000 EVs per, uh, per year by the end of 2023, but this target has been moved to next year. The goal of 2 million EVs sold annually by 2026 has been delayed indefinitely. So it's clear that Ford is deferring sort of its production outputs as it prepares for its next generation of EVs. And once those are ready for manufacturing, perhaps it will return to those targets. So what do you think of the sales performance of Ford F-150 Lightning and Ford's EV business overall? Do you think Ford will get its EV business turned around? So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more EV updates. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.